Hi everyone, I have the chance to uh, try out a 2016 GMC Sierra with Apple CarPlay. My truck is in the shop uh, having some service done. So I have a 2016 GMC Sierra loaner that has uh, the newest version of the IntelliLink that has Apple CarPlay. Now the Apple CarPlay has some nice features. You can plug your iPhone in with a USB cable to your truck and uh, it'll have some new uh, features in the um, MMI system. So once you plug in with a USB port directly to the truck with your iPhone, it'll detect your phone and it'll change. This icon here says projection, now change to Apple CarPlay. And you can go ahead and open up Apple CarPlay and you have this new, I guess you'd call it a home menu. So the first app is the phone app and it'll attempt uh, to ask you who you wanna call with hands-free so if you're driving you don't have to Look down. Whom shall I call for you? No one right now, Siri. So then it'll default back to your contacts. Now these are blurred out because they have my people's names that I know. But it has your favorites along the top uh, that you have in your iPhone. Uh, recent phone calls, contacts, keypad, so you can dial numbers and then it can access your voicemail as well. This button down in the bottom corner is basically like your home button. So it'll take you back to the, the main menu. And you have your, I'm connected to Wi-Fi because I'm sitting in my garage and it has my cell signal. It'll usually say LTE when I'm out and about, but this is the time. The next app is music. It will pull up whatever music you have on your iPhone. Right now I'm listening to Dream Theater, but it'll have, you can listen to iPhone radio. Uh, you can have your playlist that you have all your artists, songs, just like an iPod, basically. It's pretty neat. Then it has the Apple Maps app, which I don't really care for, but it's there if you like it. Um, pretty much same functionality as on your iPhone. Um, it also has a messages app, which will read your text messages off, and then you can also dictate back to uh, Siri you, uh, your reply. Now playing will allow you to go right to whatever's playing on your iPod, which is kind of handy. Podcasts, pretty self-explanatory. I don't think I have any podcasts on my phone. No, I don't. Same with audiobooks. I don't have any, but it's, you know, the same type of thing. You, if you have them on your phone, you can go right to them. Pandora is a nice new app uh, compared to my truck, which is a 2014, which has the built-in, um, you know, uh, the Pandora app. So it's kind of a lot easier to navigate, and you can see there's all my channels in there for whatever I'm listening to, and I'll actually open up a, a channel. I'm not gonna play any music, but you can at least see. So there's a song, and I don't know what this button, they can thumb up, thumb down, cancel. If you wanna bring Siri up to do something, you can press the button on your steering wheel, the voice commands button, and you long press. And then it'll bring Siri up just like that. To cancel, you just close it out again or just press this button, or you can just long press this button, it'll also do the same gig right there. So, um, kind of a neat uh, addition to the uh, IntelliLink. I haven't really played around with it a lot yet, but it is uh, kind of a nice uh, new feature. I'll also say the new MMI is a lot snappier than uh, previous generations, especially compared to my 2014. You go into the new, into the apps, on the main screen, and they're just so much faster. I mean, you go between uh, phone and radio and let me go back uh, you, you go into your settings and before there was a noticeable lag in between those applications now it's it's just instant there there's no um, no waiting at all which is nice um, also note that the main radio screen for like XM FM AM whatever also got a refresh um, there's some more buttons on here uh, this will change the type of radio you can go through. You know, it recycles through your your AM, FM, XM. Media will change too if you have your iPod plugged in, uh, Bluetooth, uh, whatever else, uh, SD card, things like that. You can direct tune by pressing that right there, which is a nice new addition. I think these are uh, Seek. Yes, yeah, Seek left and right uh, channels. I think they got rid of the recording live XM radio where you could rewind up to like five minutes or something. Um, I guess I don't know why they took that out, but they did. Um, browse will let you browse, which was similar in the in the past. Then you got your menu with all sorts of things, you know, tone settings, tune select categories, and auto volume and whatnot. You can still add a bunch of presets right there. But like I said, this is a lot more... 
um, responsive than the previous generation GMC IntelliLink that I am used to. Definitely a cool thing. So that's pretty much it. I just wanted to give a short video um, touching on some of the new features of Apple CarPlay. I, th I think it's a nice addition to this truck and uh, vehicles in general. I know there's Android Auto uh, is available now as well. I don't have an Android phone to test that with. That's all for now, guys. Thanks for watching and subscribe.